In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Mega Cloud Storage. Now you can use this for free and you can store up to 20 gigabytes. So it is a good option if you want to secure your files online. So what you need to do is go to mega.io and once you're here, you'll be then prompted to sign up. So you can go ahead and try Mega for free. Now, when you first register for a Mega account, you are going to need an email, a name and a password. So enter in these fields here and then click sign up. Now, once you've signed up and you've confirmed your email address, it will then redirect you to this window and it will try and get you to buy a pro plan. If you don't want any of these features, you can get started with the free plan, which is free forever. So click get started for free. And with this free plan, you will be able to store 20 gigabytes worth of data. Now here it will show you a recovery key. You will need to keep this safe and this will avoid your data becoming inaccessible. If you ever lose your password, you can recover it with this recovery key here. So you can either copy this or you can download the file. I'm gonna click no thanks, I can remember the key. Now what you need to do, I'm gonna first delete this. So if you click on the three dots, we can move this to the rubbish bin. And there we go, now we're in the Mega app. Now what we can do is we can first upload files and we can then manage it. Now I'm gonna create a folder and I'm gonna call this YouTube. So this folder will have YouTube files. So I've gone create folder, we've created a folder called YouTube and here it is. If we then double click on this folder, we can now add files to this folder. So if we click upload, we can upload a folder or we can upload a file. For me, we'll go upload folder and I'm gonna just upload all of week seven's uploads to this folder. Now these are week seven videos for my knowledge base channel, which you're watching this video on. You'll see the status of these uploads and you'll be able to track these. You can minimize this window as well and you'll see once this goes to 100%, they will all be uploaded. So my files are still uploading, but while they're still uploading, I'll show you some of the other features. So if you wanted to share a folder, let's say for example, we wanted to share our YouTube folder, we could right click on it and we could then share a link to this folder. We can also click share folder. If you click on share link, you can then share this link to anybody that may want to access it. So you can see anyone with this link can view and download your data. So if you're sharing this with someone, maybe a video editor, maybe you're collaborating with someone, you wanna share them the files, you can copy this link and then they will be able to access these files. I am gonna remove the link though because I don't want you to access it. And then all of your shared items will be here. So if you've accepted any folders, the shared folders will be here. You've got your media here, which will be photos and videos. And then you've got your cloud drive, which will include all of your folders and files you've uploaded. You can see in the bottom left how much data you've got left. But apart from that, you can use this like Google Drive to upload and manage your files. I hope this video was useful and did help you out.